Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Spartan Warrior 117 signing on again for another Halo 3 fan request review. This time I'm reviewing the Halo 3 Series 1 uh, Grunt, the orange edition. Uh, this little guy is actually quite detailed for his size. Um, in the game they stand about 5 feet tall, but in real life he stands about 2 inches tall. Um, a good figure all around, very nice detailed, highly uh, highly uh, mo um, flexible for his size. Um, there's a little needler he comes with. Uh, this little guy is uh, very... Uh, what's different about him is he feels like he's made of a thick rubber material for his legs and arms. Um, very nicely detailed action figure. Um, what I also like about this figure is that he has some removable uh, armor parts for himself. Uh, the halo, the methane tank that they keep on their backs to support their lives uh, actually pops off just like in the game when you melee them. There you go. And inside is the methane tank itself, which is pretty sweet, pretty nicely detailed there. And uh, not only that, but his mask comes off just like in the game, revealing one nasty looking alien. That is pretty disgusting looking. Not so cute anymore, are they? Um, these figures, uh, are they cost the same price as the others, so if you're thinking about building an entire army of grunts, uh, think again. These are quite expensive for their size, but I caved in and bought one when they were available. Um, highly uh, flexible limbs there. Um, they don't bend at the kneecaps, uh, although they do bend at the foot, as you can see there. And they do have some very good mobility to their arms. Uh, what's also cool is that they even have those little uh, tusks on their arms that they use for digging. So that's pretty nice detail. Uh, I would recommend buying this for fanboys and fangirls only, as it is pretty expensive for its size. The Green Grunt was originally supposed to come with it, but McFarlane apparently got some got greedy with the money and decided to split them up to be bought separately. Uh, the, the figure also comes with two weapons, the uh, Plasma Pistol and the Needler. Uh, I'll show you the Plasma Pistol first. A very small gun, uh, very nice detail though for its size, um, nice, uh, accurate paint job. Might be a little splashy around the yellow parts in between, but still a very good figure. <coughs> the uh, Needler is pretty detailed too, um, as you can see. The needles themselves could have been done better, but uh, not bad for the Series 1 line. Um, hopefully we'll be seeing some more of these in the Series 3, Series 4 lines. But um, all in all, a good figure. I rated a 10 out of 10. For all categories except flexibility, which I have to rate an 8 out of 10, but still a very nice figure, and I would recommend buying one if you find one. Uh, only on eBay, of course. So, um, yeah, all right. This is the the Series One Grunt. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews. This is Spartan Warrior 117 signing off.